When Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was operating the world's largest drug cartel out of Sinaloa, Mexico, he was doing most of his banking through Europe's largest bank, HSBC. American authorities discovered that the Sinaloa cartel moved $881 million through HSBC accounts as bank officials turned a blind eye to the illegality. In 2012, the U.S. Justice Department prepared 175 charges against HSBC for money laundering, but then let the company off with a DPA deferred prosecution agreement. The bank promised to mend its ways and paid a record $1.9 billion fine. Now a 16-month investigation by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists has found that HSBC went right back to the business of handling dirty money, at least $4.4 billion it considered suspicious. The evidence comes from a massive leak of SARS suspicious activity reports from FinCEN, the U.S. Treasury office that investigates international financial crimes. The bank reports are not necessarily evidence of criminal conduct, and banks are not required to shut down accounts involved in suspected money laundering. HSBC was not alone. The documents show that Deutsche Bank, J.P. Morgan, Bank of New York Mellon, and others conducted similar highly suspicious transactions for known criminals. The documents include over 2,400 suspicious transactions from multiple Canadian banks and corporations. In fact, Canada was in the top 10 countries with residents identified in the leaks. Canada has to do much more to crack down on money laundering, according to NDP MP Charlie Angus, the story of Toronto and Canada. who has tracked these issues for years. Uh, in fact, there's an expression that's used internationally that if you want to clean your dirty money, come to Canada and you can, it's called snow washing. So there's even a, an expression for how Canada is such an easy mark to hide dirty money. HSBC declined to answer questions about the suspicious transactions, but issued a statement claiming that the bank is a much safer institution than it was in 2012. Terence McKenna, CBC News, Toronto.